Hi, my name is Jürgen Holland and I want to show you how you can do some basic uh, X particles and Arnold render tricks. I needed these lines. I also wanted the ability to show in color how long the particle lives and um, I had to combine this with Arnold render because that's my preferred renderer. First off, you need an X particle system. So uh, I just create one XP system and I need the uh, to have an emitter. I can just uh, show you how that works. Combining X particles and Arnold is really easy. It's uh, as easy as you create create the X particle system and an emitter. You just need an emitter. And um, the only thing you have to add is an Arnor parameters tag. So if I go to the IPR window, I have ducked this over here. I can show, show how that looks. Just as simple as this, you can combine X particles and Arnold. But I want lines. Of course, I can use, always use the trails. The trails in Arnold is a bit tricky. So if I make the trails and try to do, uh, try to color them over life, and uh, the Arnold system don't want to do that without a uh, lot of tweaking and a lot of workarounds. I needed some simple graphics, just some simple lines. It was just arrows. If you need a trail that has a long tail, then um, this wouldn't really work that well. But for my case, just a short tail and um, yeah, really an arrow, then this way of doing it is pretty easy. I can, uh, for instance, um, create a cube, change the size of the cube i will have it in 10 by 10 by 200 for instance and um, yeah and i can hide that cube to get this into the this uh, system i can just go to the arnold tag and add custom and and add the cube so if i now go into the ipr it has to uh, pick up the cube and of course the cube in all not the scene is always dark if you don't add a light so if i add an on the light uh, yeah the cube uh, will appear it's really small now so i have to change the radius multiplier to uh, make it visible I can even more, yeah. But to make this a little bit easier to see, I can go into an Arnold uh, system here or materials and create a flat material and add it to the cube. And then the cube is uh, constant litten. Just to make this a little bit more interesting, I can. Um, add the typical curly turbulence that is pretty cool like uh, like harry potter style so if i um, just start this one ah, it's too many it's too many uh, particles so again uh, and then uh, yeah you see that uh, it works the system renders the cube the way I want it, but it's not directional. To fix the rotation, I go to the extended data, I use rotation and put it in tangential mode. If I do a new render, there's a problem. I need um, the cube to uh, start in the right direction. You can do this in different ways, but a simple way is just make it edible. 
uh, and select all the points and move the points so it fits the uh, the null in the scene. To simplify the scene, I did some changes for the render. Also took the curl turbulence away and just made a follow path. It has a fall off with a box shape. So if I press play now, uh, you can see that uh, where uh, the uh, particles are moving. For the um, for the render, you can see that they are following the path. And also tangential to uh, which direction the particles are moving. The other thing I wanted was to change the color over life. I just keep the flat material on the cube here, but I need uh, X particle material. To get Arnold to understand the X particle material, I have to go into the uh, network editor, press X particles and add that to the beauty pass. I don't need that flat and it's interpret interpreting the color channel. And um, what I now need to do is uh, go to, into the X particles, add that to the X particles emitter. And if I want the, uh, the trails to have a different color over life, I can uh, just hit the life in the color mode here. So it goes from blue to white. If I now do a new uh, play here, I can go into the IPR window and you can see that the color changes over life and I can change this and I can change this how it will end up. Now I can, of course, create whatever shape I want. And if I go into the cube here, I can maybe make an arrow out of the, this cube. And um, yeah, I can um, scale this up, uh, make a bevel, a bevel. And uh, if I hit um, the limit here, I can just scale this up. So that's um, the thing I wanted to show you. So um, have a good one and uh, play around with uh, Arnold and uh, X-Particle.